Hi, everybody. I'm Mary Cato Leary. I'm the executive director of A Wish Come True, and I'm excited to share that we are getting very close to our freezing for a reason. Um, January 1st, 2023 is our 19th annual uh, polar plunge down on First Beach in Newport, and we are so excited. Um, I think this is going to be a really big year for us. Well, it's definitely, I mean, here we are today, we're recording this in the thick of this bomb cyclone storm where temperatures are going to plummet. So it's definitely going to put a, a a refresh on anybody who didn't remember what it's like to be out in the wintertime. And, you know, it'll, it'll be interesting to see if that um, excites people or scares them off from taking the plunge this January 1st. Exactly. Well, you know, the forecast right now is in the 50s. Uh, knock on wood, the last few years, we've had really good luck with weather. Um, last time, I think last year, it rained a little bit in the morning and, um, you know, cleared up right right for the plunge. So we plunged right exactly at 12 o'clock. Um, so it's, you know, the get there early for sure. You know, parking is always crazy. Um, we're doing a pre, there's a pre-party before, obviously a lot of people get there early. They do the restaurants and stuff. We have a, a partnership this year with Rejects Beer Company and they have some breakfast happening. And, um, you know, what's great about that is you can park there and then just walk to the beach, uh, take the plunge and then go after and, you know, have a nice hot toddy and warm up. So everybody knows what the polar plunge is. We've seen the images. In fact, in this week's edition of Newport this week, you can see a couple of gentlemen who uh, they're yeah. having a good time for sure. Um, it's it's definitely, you know, got a, 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 a I don't want to say a cult following. That's not the right way to put it. But there's people who do this every year. Explain yeah. where um, where you come in, where a wish comes true, comes into this this particular event. Sure. So um, it started with the original polar bears is, is what they're called. In fact, we're honoring one of the original uh, polar bears this year um, at Rejects. It's uh, His name is Charlie Wright. He's been doing it for over 50 years, which is amazing. Um, but there's a whole crew of them. Um, and, you know, it was a while back, well, obviously, you know, 19 years ago, where A Wish Come True, you know, went to them and said, hey, is there a way that we could partner and do this for a charity? And so, you know, our role is, you know, so A Wish Come True basically runs the event. Um, you know, we have to get the permit. We do, you know, we organize the police and the fire department and, you know, all of the logistics that happen behind the scenes. And, you know, a lot of folks don't realize that they're doing it for A Wish Come True. Um, and truly, you know, what we're making it, what we're doing is, is making, um, for this year, we have two kids that are going to be, you know, um, granting, we're going to grant, be able to grant their wish because of the polar plunge, which is awesome. And then anything left over is going to go for more wishes and, and more work that we do with the family. So we've been doing it. We've been running it for 19 years. It's a blast. It's such a quick event, you know, and I think what happens, you know, a lot is that anyone, you know, you start the new year and you want to do something fresh and you want to do something that's like, we're going to branch into this new year with, you know, new beliefs and new things, especially the way things have been over the you know last couple of years. And, you know, why not do it for a great cause? You know, go in, jump in the water. It's refreshing. You know, I've done it. I do it. Um, you know, I walk in with the original polar bears. They escort me in. And, um, you know, it's it's a lot of fun. It's uh, it really, truly, as you leave there going, wow, like, but I, you know, I did something new for the new year and I'm starting it off fresh by giving back to a charity that's going to help some, you know, some sick kids. Right. It's sort of a dual, almost spiritual cleanse because you get in there and you feel the the cold water and, and that that in tandem yeah. with the fact that it's the new year. But then also, like you said, it's for a cause that is obviously, you know, incredibly important and incredibly um, magical, really, the work that you do. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, it's funny because um, I remember last year there was um, a guy getting married. And, you know, he was down, he, he had, a, he had to jump in early. He came to me and asked permission to like jump in early because he and his, he, he and his bachelor, you know, the bachelors there, um, you know, the, 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 uh, where the groomsmen, you know, they had to, they had to get going. So I'm like, yeah, absolutely go in. And they gave, you know, they gave, you know, you know, they, they gave to a wish come true as well. It was just really neat to see, you know, just people kind of, you know, embracing it and taking it on and, you know, let's have fun with it. What explain to us the organization from, outside of just the polar plunge context and and sort of the work that you do and frame it as to you know what what is so important about giving to a wish come true absolutely so um a wish come true is the oldest wish granting organization in rhode island and massachusetts 
Um, we've been around for 40. We've been celebrating our 40th year anniversary. We kicked it off last year, January 1st, our 40th year anniversary. Um, and we've helped over 1,700 children actually and their families grant that magical wish, which has been absolutely phenomenal. But I started about four years ago. And, you know, when I reached out to the families, what we found was that although the wishes are absolutely amazing um, and we will continue doing these memorable wishes, um, the families were still coming back from those wishes and still, you know, the child might have still been in treatment or they're struggling financially. And, you know, and we really kind of took a step back and said, you know, that's really, you know, I think the opportunity for a wish come true to do something a little bit different um, and go and take a deeper dive with these families. So we help them financially um, at time, you know, at least at least once a year if, they, if they're in need and there's a financial crisis. Um, so we'll pay, you know, sometimes we pay rent, we'll pay utility bills for them, we'll buy groceries. You know, right now we just did a crazy, you know, mad madhouse here for giving them, you know, Christmas presents under the tree and making sure that they, you know, everyone has, you know, has a, a happy, you know, happy holiday season um, and can open at least one present for, you know, from a wish come true or from the donors. Every family was donate, um, like was adopted this year, you know, 55 families, over 200 people. Um, and that's, you know, honestly, though, that was, you know, near and dear to my heart. Um, I had a younger brother who passed away when I was 11 um, and he was seven. He passed away in September. Um, and, you know, we didn't have really have Christmas that year. I mean, it was just, you know, it was it was tough, you know, and I didn't know as a kid what was really going on with these adults and why, you know, I still believed in Santa and, you know, but I didn't realize that we really we really couldn't afford it either. Um, so it was, you know, it, it was something that I brought forward and said, you know, it's it's really important that we we do this. And it really speaks to this community as well. You know, the fact that you'd mentioned that there's no one who hasn't gone ad adopted this year. That speaks to a community that is just, you know, it's predictable in the sense that, that there's a lot of really good people out there in our, our community. It really is. And I think that, uh, you know, as we as people realize that we are, you know, we're local and we're not associated with any national organization, that we are the, you know, really, the you know, the money stays local, um, you know, that everything is happening here. It's for local kids. Um, you know, it's 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 been really helpful to see and, and watch people, you know, kind of step up, especially during our 40th year um, and really, you know, help. We have a lot of sponsors this year for our, our Polar Plunge, um, the Cobb Restaurant. We have Northeast Fleece is donating all these awesome blankets that are going to be there so we can in turn sell them and help to raise more money for the Wish Kids um, and their families, you know, so there's just a lot of great supporters that are out there. And, you know, it's it's been fun to watch really Newport as well. The companies in Newport embrace, you know, um, this polar plunge and, you know, it's great. It's a great opportunity to just come out and have, like I said, have some fun and, you know, get your name out there. You'd mentioned the original polar plungers, Colleen McGrath for Newport this week has a conversation yeah. with polar plunger, Charlie Wright, who yeah. grew up in Newport's fifth ward and was a member of the second class to graduate from Rogers high school. How about that? <laughs> and he's been on the water his whole life, according to the article, but it's a really interesting conversation because there's nothing quite like jumping into the ocean on New Year's Day. I imagine that that's a unique experience, even for someone with tons of experience out there. And I wonder, you know, what's your message to anybody who's thinking about, do I want to do this? Do I want to come down and either jump in the water, perhaps just make a donation, participate as an observer? You know, anyone out there who is hasn't made this a part of their New Year's tradition, what's your pitch to them? You know, it's a whole family event, you know, which is, you know, really great. You know, there's a lot of people that just come and watch, you know, there's great ways that you can raise money to how, you know, you can have a team, you can create a team to go in and jump in. You can, you know, be sponsored yourself by your family members to go and jump in. Um, I had never done it before. You know, when I started four years ago, I was like, you know, the first year I watched the set, you know, and then I went back out and said, all right, I'm going to do it this year. And um, it was they they were the ones who, you know, really the the originals, you know, the bears, they they were the ones who said, we're going to take you in, Mary Kate. And, you know, good for you for doing it. You can do it. It's um it's refreshing. You know, it really is. it Yes, it's cold. You know, you have people that run in, but they did it. And, you know, you, you just kick off the year feeling really, really good. So, you know, again, it's really about your own spirituality and, 
you know, knowing that you're making a difference for somebody, these kids are going to go to, you know, give kids the world and Disney and, you know, have an amazing time on their trip. And it's going to be because of, you know, the people that are, you know, taking and doing something that's fun and uh, turning it around and, and raising money for a cause. Yeah. It's a unique opportunity for all involved. So lastly here, the logistics of it, what time should people show up? You know, should they be prepared with something yeah. that, to wear when they get out of the water, all that business. Yeah, so um, absolutely. So what I would recommend first is to go to our website, which is www.awish.org. Sign up, or you know, you can sign up there. You know, so don't you don't have to worry about you know leaving your car until you have to. Um, but sign up; it's twenty dollars to plunge, and then you also have opportunities. You can buy a blanket. You can buy it. You know, you get a T-shirt. Um, there's also towels that are available. So we have everything there. We'll have hot chocolate. Um, we're going to have, you know, coffee and, you know, there's going to be some food that's going to be there just from, um, you know, brood awakenings and local places that are going to have it. So um, come early for parking, you know, like I said, get there. Um, a lot of times people kind of hang out in the parking lot until it's ready. Come and enjoy. Come on out. You know, we, it's it, like I said, at about a lot, about 20 minutes of we start the announcements. We start getting people really excited. We're playing music and getting you excited to, you know, take that plunge. And like I said, right at 12. We're going in um, the, whole, the whole beach will go in, which is, you know, pretty phenomenal to see. And yeah, have people there, you know, for your blankets. We have people that get in costumes. We have people who are in, you know, bathrobes. Um, it's pretty amazing to see, you know, they're in their bikinis. Um, you know, it, it's it's really fun to watch. Mary Kate O'Leary, a wish come true, executive director. Thanks so much for your time and uh, hopefully see you down there on New Year's Day. Absolutely, Bill. I, I, hey, I hear you're doing it. Are you going to jump in? Hey, we'll we'll see here. You know, I am. Uh, I'm 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 a uh, you know I'm the type of person that has a hard time getting in the water on like the Fourth of July. So let's see <laughs> if uh, I can get the. I the challenge courage. you. You can do it. You can do it. Come do it with me. All right. Sounds good. Thanks awesome, so much. Bill. Great.